Welcome to our presentation. Chelmsford County High School for Girls aims to convert the existing gymnasium into a library. As part of the works, improvements of the adjacent dining provisions are to be carried out. Our current design adopts the following principles. Convert the existing gymnasium into a library. Introduce a mezzanine study area for the new library. Retain existing gymnastics installation to outline the past use of the space. Use the changing slash toilet area to address the shortage in the dining space. In addition, open up this area as A through passage. The sketch below was provided by the librarian aiming to fit the movable shelving the PA funded seven years ago into the new layout. Making sure that the librarian can oversee the whole space from the desk. The long tables in front of the library desk are for computers, desktops or laptops. Use of two low bookcases between the computer tables and the study tables. Provision of another bookcase in front of the low seating area. The long bookcase next to the library desk and the ones at an angle are bookcases present in the existing library space. Addition of a window to the wall above the comfortable seating to give a view of the library from the library office. Use of a smart TV in front of the stairs or the computers or in general as a movable asset for use where needed. A screen in front of the study rooms to be viewed from the study tables. Target for 90 chairs for the study. For the mezzanine suggested use of single tables to keep the sixth form students from talking and provision of a room for 20 tables. Alternatively, a long line of partition tables was called similar to those in the study rooms off the library at the moment. Developing further the initial brief for the library, the following considerations were taken into account. 1. Overall height and mezzanine. Based on the laser survey previously carried it was made apparent that for a mezzanine we could not use the full width of the space. As demonstrated in this feasibility section, a significant part of the mezzanine side zones fall below 2.1 meters clear head height. A conscious design decision was made to use the substandard zones for extra natural daylight and the provision of staircase access. 2. Mezzanine and Building Regulations Compliance. The design ought to include 2. Number of staircases as an alternative means of escape for fire. A platform lift for Disability Discrimination Act compliance. For the latter, it was assumed that the school could provide on the ground floor the same accommodation for DDA users. 3. Building Regulations Compliance. All of the ground floor space to be fully accessible by wheelchair users. In order to achieve compliance, all the furniture was to be scaled and spaced accordingly to allow easy and unobstructed navigation. For the mezzanine, a 10-column decking design was adopted. One L-shaped and one circular staircase provide access and alternative means of escape on both ends of the mezzanine. A total of 98 seats can be achieved in the ergonomic layout demonstrated. Part of the mezzanine is enclosed to form an office, reflecting previous discussions on site. Carpet is the proposed flooring material. Sky views printed on vinyl are proposed to three of the ceilings, as a way to impress the feeling of atrium opening slash roof lights. For the ground floor, we retain all the existing fixed gymnastics equipment. New vinyl light timber effect flooring is provided. A recreation of the existing line markings applied to the floor. Walls are repainted to magnolia color. Columns painted purple. Decorative column crest to gold effect. Old dorset panes change from solid timber to glass. An L-shaped office with a copy machine situated as per the brief. A 14-seat space of information technology is achieved. 9-seat study area is provided. A new glazed study room is formed, housing three large circular tables for a total of 18 seats. The bookcase layout is organized to allow for unobstructed wheelchair navigation. Following our site visit, we outlined a potential layout using a part of the existing dining furniture. The seats achieved were 74 in the old dining hall, 74 in the new dining hall, 32 seats in the circulation corridor. Due to the existence of lockers in the new dining area, the resulting plan is problematic in terms of circulation as it presumes the use of one-way system. Equally, similar problems are observed in the old dining area. As per the brief, we have allowed for the demolition and remodeling of the changing slash toilets area, forming a new circulation dining corridor with the use of booth seating. We retain the existing columns to limit the remodeling cost. For the rest of the areas, we have assumed the use of new 8C tables. Relocation of the existing lockers was included in the new dining hall for improved circulation. In the existing circulation corridor, we allowed for a raised access floor and ramped access to the atrium. New timber effect vinyl flooring is introduced throughout the dining areas. The seats achieved are 
88 in the old dining hall. 136 in the new dining hall. 42 in the new dining circulation corridor. 32 in the circulation corridor. The new design achieves a total of 298 seats versus 180 seats of the existing plan layout. Synopsis. The gymnasium to library conversion achieves. Retention of gymnastics equipment and new flooring to relate to the previous history of the space. Introduction of a new study mezzanine with 98 stackable seats and one office. A strategically placed librarian's desk to allow for an easy overview. 14-seat space for information technology. 9-seat study area. New glazed study room with three large circular tables and 18 seats. Wheelchair-friendly ground floor layout. Building regulations compliance for fire escape of the mezzanine. With the dining remodeling works we achieve. New direct connection of the existing dining areas with the atrium. The potential increase in seating from 180 to 298. Improvement in overall circulation. Removal of all stepped access in the old circulation corridor. Thank you for watching.